All right, so the Mets started their really long, potentially arduous, uh, close to 8,000-mile road trip with three games in Anaheim. The Angels are terrible. I mean, I don't have to tell you that. Look at their record. They're 49 and 63. And the Mets lost two out of three. It's not good. Now, it's hard to jump the Mets because it's the first series loss they've had since, you know, almost the beginning of July. But this is a road trip that's going to tell you a lot about the Mets. Because you're playing teams like the Angels where you should have to take two out of three and, and really should think about sweeping. Then you got this game in St. Louis. Now, St. Louis is a, half, a game and a half behind the Mets for the, um, the fourth slot. The Mets right now, the season ended, they're not in the wild card. So the, the Cardinals are right behind the Mets. So right now, the wild card is the Atlanta Braves, the Padres, and the Diamondbacks. Then the Mets, the Cardinals, and the Pirates. With the Giants, um, four back in the lost column from the Mets, and five back in the lost column from the Diamondbacks. So the, um, the road trip is going to be tough for the Mets. It ends with three games in Seattle. Now, Philadelphia is able to handle Seattle. Can the Mets? Seattle's got great pitching. Their hitting is somewhat suspect, but they did have some additions on Rosarena and Justin Turner. But, you know, we said this on Friday. This road trip is unfair to the Mets. To make up a game in St. Louis, when you just played three games in Anaheim, then you have to travel the whole team to St. Louis. Now, they did tomorrow's starter uh, against the Rockies is Severino. So they sent him ahead to Colorado. So he does not have to, does not have to make the trip to St. Louis. But everybody else does. That's a killer. So you go to St. Louis, then you have to fly to Colorado, and then to the furthest, most northwest part of the country, Seattle. In all, about 8,000 miles. And you started off bad. Now let's let's see the schedule and what it means. Brandon Nimmo said there are no excuses for this travel schedule. You know, this is not ideal at all, but it, it's the card we're dealt, and so you, you just got to make the best of the situation. But, yeah, there's no question that, um, you know, going to St. Louis for one game, crossing two time zones, um, and then coming back to Colorado and crossing another time zone, you know, within 24 to 48 hours is, is not ideal. But, you know, it is it is what it is. The Cardinals are, are in the wild card hunt, too, so they're not going to care what our travel is. They're going to try and beat us, and, you know, we have to show up ready to go so you can make all the excuses you want but uh ultimately you gotta try and win at the end of the day well the mets have a ready-made excuse that's the point they can't use that excuse now the travel to st louis would have been somewhat uh less arduous if you had taken the three games you have to take in anaheim brazabon gave up um the lead on saturday um they couldn't score much yesterday First and third, one man out. Vientos bangs into a double play. So you can't lose two out of three of the Angels. Now you're almost forced to, 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 to have to sweep the Rockies. The, the, the minimum they could go on this road trip is five and five. And if, if St. Louis wins tonight, the game's at 515, all of a sudden they're right there with you. They're one game back in the loss column. So... I've been looking at this, studying it, because you know, if you listen to the show, I'm not that guy who's going to make these declarative, ridiculous statements. But I don't think the Mets are making the wild card. And the reason why is the Braves are better. Those two losses against the Braves in the final two games of that four-game set, that's going to haunt the Mets. I think the Braves are better. The Padres have really improved their bullpen. I think they're better. Their lineup's better. And the Diamondbacks, they've been there. They've done that. They're playing very good ball. They're 8-2 and two in their last 10. Same thing with the Padres, 8-2 and two in their last 10. And the Braves are 6-4. and four. Now, the Padres and the Diamondbacks are not going to continue to play 800 ball every 10 games. But they're just better than the Mets, in my opinion. And I think that this month, with the two West Coast swings, with this killer road trip, 
the Mets are going to put themselves back to the point where they'll have to play phenomenal baseball in September. And with their bullpen, are they able to play phenomenal baseball and win a lot of games in a row? Because, first of all, the bottom half of their rotation is not great, although Blackburn pitched well on Friday. And their bullpen is, is a, a, a huge question mark. you got to be able to win every single game that you have a lead. I don't think the Mets are able to. And, again, even the Mets play good baseball, and I think they will. I love Mendoza. I think their offense is just a blip right now. They'll get better. They'll get back to what they were. It'll be a, a return to the mean. But sometimes it's as simple as this. The Braves, the Padres, and the Diamondbacks are better than the Mets. They just are. Diamondbacks are getting back two starters that they haven't had. Their strength is their starting pitching. Their bullpen gives me a little bit of the willies. Seawall's not an overpowering reliever, but he gets the job done. The Braves are banged up, but there's a winning pedigree there. They know how to win. And I think the Padres were energized by the fact that A.J. Preller went out and made moves and strengthened their bullpen and traded away most of their top prospects because he's going for it. So the Atlanta Braves are 60 and 51, Padres 61 and 52, Diamondbacks 60 and 52, and the Mets are 58 and 53. I want the Mets to make it. It, it would make it better in New York that they're in the playoffs. I just don't think they're making it. If they make it, will I be flabbergasted? Absolutely not. But I'm trying to read the tea leaves in an objective manner, and the teams that are in front of them right now are better teams. They're better pieces to win big games than the Mets do. They just do. Cardinals right behind the Mets. Pirates, surprising. I don't think they have enough, but you know we know every every five days Paul Skeens is going to pitch. The Giants. How about Snell getting a no hitter on Friday? First time he's ever pitched, thrown a pitch in the ninth inning in his career. I think in his last five games, he has a 0.55 ERA. And you can say on the outside looking in the Cubs and the Reds, but Cardinals, Pirates, and Giants and Mets have to catch the three teams that are in the wild card right now. I don't think they'll do it. I don't think they'll do it.